This is going to be a very quick video. I just want to talk briefly about two formulas which appear in your data booklet in the astrophysics section. Uh, they might appear to be new formulas, but uh, I want to show you that they are actually two equations with which you are already familiar. You're already familiar with the Stefan-Boltzmann law, but let's review it briefly. So in the Stefan-Boltzmann law, it says that the power being emitted by a hot object, by a hot body, is equal to the Stefan-Boltzmann constant multiplied by the surface area of the object in meters squared multiplied by the temperature of the object in kelvins raised to the fourth power. So Stefan-Boltzmann law uh, we've seen before. An equation which is in your data booklet is the equation for calculating what's called the luminosity of the star. First of all, luminosity is simply the power output of the star measured in watts. So capital L is the luminosity or power output of the star. And the power output of a star in watts is equal to the Stefan-Boltzmann constant multiplied by the surface area of the star multiplied by the surface temperature of the star raised to the fourth power. So the Stefan-Boltzmann equation is the same as this luminosity equation. They just look a little bit different. Same sort of thing is happening with the equation for apparent brightness. If you recall from last year, if we want to calculate the intensity of, uh, of, a, of a wave at a particular distance from an object that's radiating it, we take the power in watts of the radiating object, divide it by 4 pi times r, which is the distance from you are from the object, squared, and that gives you the intensity in watts per square meter. Well, it's exactly the same thing for stars, except now instead of intensity, we call it apparent brightness. It's still measured in watts per square meter. And instead of using the power, we use the luminosity, which of course is the power output of the star. So the apparent brightness of a star at a distance d from the star is equal to the star's luminosity measured in watts divided by 4 pi times the distance from the object squared. And the distance has to be in meters. Okay, thanks.